let me tell you a story about if I can find some socks. Fuck it. No baseball socks. That's old miner guy. Hit up my friend Jake. We can hang out and play some gears. We can go play for the bee. And I'm really bad at singing the song. Because I can't put my sock on wrong. It's windy as fuck. Hold on. Green sweatshirt. So this video is probably gonna get cut off because my um, my phone battery is about to die. But you know what? What the fuck? If it gets cut off, it gets cut off. Uh, crazy miner dude. So I went camping this weekend. It was cool that there was this crazy. We were in a, we were on a gold mine. And he's like 67. He came down the first night. We had built a pretty roaring fire, you know. And he just starts telling all these fucking stories about how he was in Nam. And hold on, I gotta zip up my jacket. And all the crazy shit that we experienced. It's sunny out still, I can wear sunglasses. Because he's like, he just keeps on talking. Like, because he just tells stories to people and it's like he's been so far removed from civilization almost that he just talks. It's like, he just tells stories. Whoa. This represents 33 women, 3,300 women who made a personal decision about their bodies and who show and should never be publicly shamed. We're just representing the number of abortions on every day in the United States alone. Oh, oh wait. Huh. Huh. Check this out. Hey. <laughs> on a red flag. Fuck yeah. So anyways, this minor dude. We were just talking and he just keeps on talking. We're telling stories back and forth about just like shit that's gone down. This guy's really smart, actually. Like he's crazy, but he's smart. College educated back in like the 70s, but college educated nonetheless. Fucking... You know, he just talks about rocks and geologies and shit. And, and like he knows what he's talking about when it comes to the stones. He's really cool. He's been mining for years, obviously, but that's besides the point. And um turns out the guy's had all his teeth pulled. And um so he's like, he, we can understand every word he said. And he's like, yeah, well, I since I don't have any teeth anymore anymore, it's it's just, you know, if I do what I can to try and be normal. And like, yeah, dude, he's doing a fine job. I could, could understand every word he said. So that was kind of cool. And yeah, this is fucking crazy, dude, man. Hella cool, hella chill. But it's just like almost that he fucking decided, decided in a sense to leave and just like become a gold miner. So the gold rundown is the gold price you see is um it's just fucking it's what pure gold is worth an ounce of pure gold is worth it's 31.4 grams for those of you counting at home the cops pure 24 karat gold is worth like 1600 right now on the open market i'll have to check when i get home i don't know if you have an ounce of 16 karat gold it'll be worth two thirds what you'll get 24 karat so that's kind of cool and then like what to look for when you look in, um, when you're looking for gold mines, and I'll throw up a picture right now. Photo editing. Uh, it's of an abandoned gold mine that we found. It's fucking kind of cool, and it reminds me of Skyrim. We found this huge slab of granite too. It's fucking badass. It's just like a slab of polished granite that he's gonna use. He's gonna turn it into a table. Suck. He thinks I'm weird, but I don't care. Damn Meekins, thank you for following me. Um, I'm psyched to hear what you have coming up. 
May 21st. He's got an album, Lamp City, coming out. Let's just throw some promotion out there. Check out this horse. And the plaque is on this side. This is made out of driftwood, I'm assuming. Cast at Walla Walla Foundry. So you're telling me that this is fucking steel. Do you hear that? It rings. Or iron or whatever it is. This is not wood. That's shocking. Yeah.